New at five, a massive update to the decades-long case of convicted murderer Richard Glossip. Oklahoma Attorney General Gentner Drummond has filed a motion to vacate Glossip's conviction. This comes as Glossip was set for a May execution in McAllister. Here with more from Drummond's release and reaction from a local lawmaker is 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani. Samson? Yeah, Aaron, Richard Glossip has been on death row for nearly two decades for the alleged murder for higher plot to kill Oklahoma City motel owner Barry Van Treese in 1997. Now, a co-worker of Glossop's confessed to beating Van Treese to death in the Oklahoma City motel room as part of an, a, plea, a, a plea agreement to avoid the death penalty. That co-worker testified that Glossop offered to pay him for the killing. But with the only evidence being against Glossop being that testimony, nationwide attention had been raised in the years since that cast a doubt on the validity of his conviction despite being resentenced in 2004 and numerous Oklahoma courts doubling down on his awaited execution. Now, according to today's release from Attorney General Drummond, he says he has sought answers since taking office just months ago on this case. The release says while the independent report does not declare Glossop as innocent, it documented multiple instances of error in gathering evidence and investigating the case that, that cast doubt on that conviction. One lawmaker who's been outspoken in suggesting Glossop's innocence is Broken Arrow Republican State Rep Kevin McDougal. He says he's ecstatic to hear the news, telling me it is exactly what he has advocated for all along. He sees exactly what we've seen. So I'm, I'm excited that he uh, took the time to personally do it. And I'm excited that he's uh, standing up for the state of Oklahoma to right the wrongs that were done years ago. We've also heard from Don Knight, Richard Glossop's attorney. His statement reads in part, quote, we thank General Drummond for his de courageous decision to take a deeper look at this difficult case and urge the Court of Criminal Appeals to quickly grant the Attorney General's request and remand Mr. Glossop's case to the trial court for further proceedings. And you can find the full statement from Glossop's defense as well as the release from from Attorney General Drummond right now on our website, kjrh.com. And we'll have more to come on this news coming up at 6 and at 10 o'clock. Live in studio, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.